Survey Monkey tutorial. How to use Survey Monkey for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can build amazing surveys using Survey Monkey. Survey Monkey can help you in ensuring that you're able to get valuable feedback from your customers, users, or from your employees, and you're able to implement that feedback into your business. You can get better insights as well as use expert-based templates and helpful AI resolutions for your surveys as well. So let's get started. Now to get started, simply head on over to surveymonkey.com, then click on sign up for free on the top right. Once you do that, you will be led to the account creation section on SurveyMonkey, and you can sign up with Microsoft, Facebook, LinkedIn, Apple, or you can sign up with your email address. This just depends on your personal preference. I am going to be signing up using my Gmail account, so it's just easier for us to breeze through the sign-up process. So you're just going to agree to their terms of service and then just click on next. Now, once you've done that, you're going to click on create new account. And once you click on create new account, you can proceed with your account on SurveyMonkey. Now, SurveyMonkey can serve a wide variety of people. It really doesn't depend on if you're only in one specific industry that you're going to need SurveyMonkey. If you have customers, you want their feedback. If you have employees, you want feedback from them as well. If you are teaching somewhere, you want feedback from students, from your teachers. So for any type of organization, feedback is one of the most valuable things that helps you in improving upon the actual organization business or project. So you're just going to enter a couple of onboarding questions or you can skip it as well. And from here, you can get started. So over here, you have the option of your homepage where you can use a quick template built with AI or start from scratch. So first, I'm going to show you guys how you can start from scratch with surveys and let's get started. Now over here, the first step is to add your branding for any type of template or any type of survey that you're creating. You're going to include your business or your project logo. And for that, just click on logo over here and you're going to click on upload file and you're just going to upload your file on to SurveyMonkey. Now, once you have put in your file, your logo will be inserted. Now I'm going to make this a medium sized or small sized logo. And then after that, I can proceed with the survey title. For this, I want this to be my product quality survey. And you can change the alignment. I'm going to go with center alignment. And this is going to be my, um, this is going to be concept product or ad testing. And then I'm just going to click on save. Now, once we have done this, we can move towards the next step where we can add a page title. So I'm going to skip this because I don't want to include that. And from here, we can include our questions. So let's say the first question I want to ask is which one of our products have you been using? Question mark. And I have two options. So after that, I can choose the type of question this is, whether this is going to be multiple choice. Multiple choice means one answer can be selected from the answers given. Checkboxes means that multiple different answers can be selected together. Star ratings and best and worst scales are just usually Likert based scales. Then you have file uploads, single text boxes where your customers or the volunteers can type out their answers. You can include comment boxes, matrix of dropdowns, as well as rating scales, rankings, sliders, multiple text boxes, and date and time. So I want a checkbox so customers can select all of the products that they are using. So our sunscreen, our moisturizer, or our sunscreen, our toner, or our serum. And I'm going to remove the last option because I only want to give three options. So I can just click on this minus icon on the right. Now, another really important thing to note is that you can include images, videos, as well as links, even within the answers. If I want to include an image of the sunscreen, I can just click on this picture icon and add a image. And you can add a order to your answers. You can reverse the answer orders. 
Now, another option on SurveyMonkey is that you can score this question as well. You can add other as an option or you can add none of the above as an option as well. Now, if you are creating educational quizzes, you can easily do that and you can score questions and add the correct answer. Now, after that, I can click on next question and start adding my next question. So let's say the next question is going to be a star rating. And let's say this is going to be how do you rate our packaging? Question mark. And we have how would you rate the quality? How would you rate the quality of our? Yeah. Overall, how much would you rate the quality of our packaging? Very high, high, neither high nor low, low or very, very low. You can also include things like star ratings if you want to do that, but that wouldn't allow you to actually see. That wouldn't allow you to see whether or not people dislike the product. So that's why I opted for this automated version. Now, another really important feature to note with SurveyMonkey is that on the left, you have logic. So these are all premium features on SurveyMonkey, but you can add questionnaire logic. So if one question is meant to be answered before the other or questions need to be randomized or there needs to be a code of questions or if you want to include your own custom variables, all of that can be done with this logic section. After that, you also have options to include payments, a quiz version, a progress bar. I can turn on a progress bar at the top of the page and I want to only show the percentage of the quiz that is completed. And then we have the question blank where we can take some of the questions from templates available. So there are a lot of different questions that are preset that you can include as well as the format. If you want this to be a classic questionnaire where you can scroll down and see all the questions, if you want this to be one question at a time, like so, or if you want it to be in the form of a conversation. Once you've completed that, you can move towards the next step, which is to collect your responses. And you can preview your survey to see what it looks like. And to be able to send your surveys out, you have different options. You can target your ideal respondents by finding the right demographics, or you can send surveys your way and you can share a survey link. You can embed this on a site. You can post it on social media or buy targeted responses from the correct demographic audience that you might be looking for. All of these are amazing options on SurveyMonkey and can help you in choosing the right option for you and your research and whatever type of project you're building. After that, you even have a analyze results section where you can see the responses that you have and see how, what type of indications they provide. And then you can present your results as well. So instead of just being a tool where you're creating surveys, SurveyMonkey does it from zero to a hundred. Creating your survey, managing your survey, sending it out, finding the right demographics, collecting responses, managing and finding data of that responses, and then being able to present those responses in a way that provides feedback. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to get started with SurveyMonkey. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you're looking to get started with SurveyMonkey and upgrade to one of their premium plans, their individual plan starts at $35 a month with unlimited surveys, unlimited questions, as well as over a thousand responses per survey per month. Then you have 24 seven customer support, quizzes, data exports, and text analysis. Their Advantage Annual starts at $34 a month where you have multilingual surveys, accept payments, A-B testing, and many other features for further optimization. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys in the next.